Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to the free show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Hob 7's Trial by Fire. We're about to go up against Tolgar. And I'm slightly horrified, but maybe we're going to be okay. I don't know. We're going to see how this plays out, guys and gals. It's going to be scary. He's only got one of the dragons. The dragon and the magma monsters are sort of immune. And by sort of, I mean exactly, specifically, 100% immune to what I am putting down. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. But... We have a lot of guys, so maybe we'll be okay. Maybe. I don't know. Well, we're about to find out. You should surrender while you still can. Hathor might still be merciful. There's no need to waste your lives. Who is he, anyway? I don't remember Tolgar. Was he one of the group? I, I got nothing. Alright, well, we have Firebolt. We have Fireball. We have... Good regeneration. Put that on the field, probably up there. Firewall is a fan favorite, of course. Stone spikes, pretty darn impressive. We have summon elemental. We also have implosion, which is kind of good in various different ways and for various different reasons. And our heal still sucks horribly, so there's that. Alright, um, summon elemental, I guess, is going to be our last one that we throw onto the field. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a fire ball down here. Oh, that does not do much damage to the shield guys, huh? Hmm. Well, it says it doesn't do much damage. Um, let's see. That really didn't do much. That was not wrong. Don't know that I want to do that. Maybe explosion wouldn't be too bad. I'm terrified right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm a little concerned here. I'm gonna throw down the firewall, and I don't know that it's gonna do a whole heck of a lot. Oh boy. I feel like uh, we're in a little bit of a uh, of a pickle, as they say. Ooh, that looked painful and unsatisfying. How many gets to do it again? Andy's gonna kill him this time. Nope, still alive. All right. All right, we have a donk donk slapper that we can throw out too. I feel like maybe. Oh my God, there's so many things that we have to try to get rid of. And none of them are great. Oh man. Alright, I guess we're gonna go out to the bears. We're gonna have to use our, uh... Huh. Huh. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm getting distracted by things I'm not understanding. Uh, we're gonna have to use our earth spells, because our other ones are just not gonna work. Just flat out not gonna happen. Look, our 60 kills one. One of his. We should have transferred all of our equipment over too. Yeah, that was kind of a, an oversight, for lack of a better term. Yeah, this is looking horrifying. Oh God in heaven! Yeah, just, sure. Why not? Why not? Oh man. Yeah, I don't, I don't see this going well at all. Alright, so what are your stats, buddy? 17, 26... That's not really that impressive. I mean, it's a, it's more than us, sure, but... Oh, God, what? what? Oh, that's because of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you. Okay, um, well, who? Pretty much all I can say about that. Um... I got nothing. Literally nothing. Just complete blank right now. I feel like we need to cast a spell like on something super critically important. Otherwise it's just not gonna matter. Oh 
huh. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, ideally, like, jeez. Oh, um, what about implosion? How strong is implosion in comparison? 45, 43, 55. This is 45, 25, 49. So implosion's slightly better in some ways and a lot worse than others. Oh man. Then of course we also want to use our, our fireball and we know that that's going to only work on a few characters. Uh. Alright, whatever, we're gonna hit him with the Rune Patriarch Fireball there. It's gonna do a little bit of work. It's not gonna be tremendous by any stretch of the imagination, but it's gonna do something. And then we're gonna hit you with as much as we've got. And now we're gonna hope that we can survive whatever the fallout is going to be, because I think it's gonna be quite awful. I'm... that's weird. Definitely thinking that we maybe made a few too many mistakes uh, in our endeavors here. Should prime damage you down and then you should burn out, and you did. Which is fantastic, by the way. Oh wait. Going to shield everyone, not that that's going to do a tremendous amount, mind you, but... It's there. Oh, good lava for days. Why and not? Alright, attack him and do your very, very, very small, pathetic, lame damage that you do. To get you to come over here and maul this guy, he'll maul you back. Lots of mauling. And you're dead. Yes, that's about right. Okay, well, the good news is we can now come maul you. And get out of the fire. Uh, what happened? Why did we not attack? I don't really understand what happened there, but okay. I guess we can also attack you too because of reasons. Okay, so now we're going to come over here and we're going to do this. And it's going to actually do a little something there. Oh boy. Yep, fire is bad. Raging is also bad. Okay, we're gonna cast that there. Oh good, we get hit with something that was very painful and unsatisfying. We're gonna wait. We'll throw this up here. Well, that didn't actually do anything, so I'm fine with that. We're gonna defend again. And to take a shot at you. Come on, go down! really going to be crazy how this all works out, if it all works out. Okay, and do you have what it takes to end him? Probably not. The good news is, between the two of you, you seem to have enough. So we're going to come up here and slap you, and that's going to be glorious and sweet, sweet, nice style. Then we're going to be able to come over here. I'm slightly confused. What's going on? There we go. There we go. Did we kill 25 of you or 69 of you? And what does Implosion do again? Remind me what Implosion does. 43 and 92. Well, if you keep using your molten lava. Oh god, that just threw everybody all over the place. That was probably not great. Um, I don't, I don't know. Put down there, I guess. Meh. Meh. What? I, I don't, I don't care. I, I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. I think we're gonna have Lava, lava Face McGee come and be very annoying to us. 
Again, I think we'll win, but oh my gosh, at what horrible cost. That is the question every single time, and I hope this is where it ends. Like, I hope we don't see more coming after us. Alright, well... I'm gonna lava poop everywhere. And we're gonna go for some small damage onto you. There's no way he can actually get anywhere, so he's gonna chill, I guess. And we're gonna fire onto the 92. And then we're gonna come over here. We're going to stand guard. You're gonna be annoying, but that's okay. You're more than allowed to be annoying, I suppose. Alright, I think again we're gonna go with, uh, more implosion. Because why not? Kill off 42 of you. Pretty impressive stuff. Okay, I don't, I don't know, maybe there, something down here, or up here maybe. Dude, what, what is it that you keep hitting me with? Like, what? What is destruction act? You can't activate that every turn, dude. That's the third or fourth time in a row you've done that. It's a one, it's a one-off. It's not a every single time. I'm pretty sure there's no thing that lets you do that every single time either. That's a little ridiculous, but whatever, dude. You wanna keep cheating? That's fine. You go for it, man. I am all for I'm not all for it at all. I actually hate it passionately, but still. Okay, what's next? Opportunism. Oh, you go after our bear. I don't know why we're attacking first. It's interesting. Not necessarily bad, mind you, but it's weird. You're immune to whatever you're immune to. Yay for immunity. I got nothing. Alright, well, theoretically, we'll be able to end this guy soon, so I'm not super concerned with it, but still, devastating. This whole battle was devastating on the other front. We fought magic with, uh, we fought magic with might, then we fought might with magic. It's, it's terrible. I wonder how this would have gone if, uh, we had the ability to use our other gal. I think probably better? I don't know for certain, though. Alright, well, we can do that. We'll throw out some of these things. See, he did it again! That's not a thing! It's not a thing! Oh, it kills me, ladies and gentlemen. It literally kills me that they get the... Uh, I'm gonna go look after this fight. I'm going immediately, and I am looking to see if that really is a thing, and I'm just crazy, but I'm pretty certain it's not a thing. Well, we got to maul him quite heavily, and in fact, we might even be able to kill him here. Yeah, he's he's done. Oh my gosh, what a horrid, horrid battle. Now, if King Hathor comes along, I'm pretty sure we're in a lot of trouble. Ironically, our combat hamsters didn't get touched. Everybody else kind of got wrecked, though. But actually, not really that bad. Uh, quite a bit on the uh, black bears, but... Really, we didn't have that much of anything else. We were actually quite significantly outnumbered, really. As Hagir's successor, Tolgar had big shoes to fill. Not only as the warlord of the Grimsteel clan, but also as one of Hathor's advisors. Ah. As brave as he was on the battlefield, the idea of not being up to the task terrified him. He knew disappointing Hathor was not something anyone had done twice. I didn't pity him. But I knew he was a reasonable man, and a man of honor. We spared him, hoping it would at least prove our good intentions. You need to murder that fool, dude. That guy was... That guy wrecked us. Oh, alright, so we did all that. By all the fires of Arkath and all the dwarves' ancestors, am I supposed to do everything for myself? Oh, please say no. I won't tolerate any rebellion in Grimheim. Hey, I'm Hathor Arlandson, the Deep Strider. King under the mountains, I will make you kneel! Well, that doesn't sound good. Oh, please don't come out. No, what are you doing? No, we're not ready to fight you, dude. Oh, hello. Maybe we are ready to fight you. No, we're not. Dark elves. Here, in the heart of the stone halls. Impossible. Hathor. 
the Short King, Lord of the Runts. <laughs> we finally meet. You have something I need. The key to open a certain gate. Come and take it, cave crawler. There's no need for me to lower myself. Huh. I believe Hathor dreamt of an heroic end. In the mists of battle, weapon in hand, fighting some impossible enemy. A poisoned blade in the back from the very enemy he thought he had defeated was certainly not how he imagined his demise. The assassin was after his runic key, the one object that could grant them access to the gates of Sheog. As the spark of life left Hathor's body, he uttered one last command. He asked all dwarves, loyalists, or rebels to join forces to defend the gates. But it was too late. The Dark Elf attack had left us in chaos and confusion. Well, that was crazy. Is that the end of the level or something? Like... Uh-oh. This looks bad. He can fly! Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, okay, so things changed. Hey, we have the two guys that wrecked us horribly awful uh, on our side again. And a uh, thankful <laughs> reinforcement. Oh my god, that was so horrifying. I can't tell you guys. That was just... Ugh, that was the worst. Okay, so this is very odd. This has changed the entire landscape of everything that we we're doing, and I'm... I don't know. I'm a little bit at a loss, to say the least. I'm glad that Kari managed to get through that, but oh man, that was close. Okay, uh, oh, I'm glad we went with earth magic, I'm glad we went with fire magic. Uh, so we have the three, we went with defense. I didn't care so much about finishing that, we did the exploration too a little bit. I guess air magic? That's gonna be our next, I kinda wish we could get light magic going too, cause, you know, light magic's pretty good. Plus eight magic for the first air spell cast in combat. I don't really know if air magic was the best choice, but we're gonna get it anyway. Okay, and we're gonna go with this one. That way we can get our combat hamsters with full range, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be using Kari for anything super crazy right now. Okay, we defeated three, even though technically we did not defeat King Hathor, which is good because he would have probably annihilated our souls, and I don't really think we could have handled it. On the other side of life, however, we have other things that we have to deal with. Knocking at Shiog's door, uh, defeat the Dark Elves partaking in uh, Silsai's ritual, and to defeat three armies within uh, three weeks. Oh, wonderful. Uh, fighting waves, we have to conquer all the stuff. We have not even come close to doing that. And we can't lose any of the main folks. Okay, wonderful. Alright, at least you're up at your other town. That's good. And you are up at your other town, which is also good. And Kari, you survived. But barely. Uh, I need you to come with us and do things, but not necessarily right away. Because, again, of reasons. We're going to buy this. Oh my gosh. That was brutal. Like, literally brutal. Alright, what do we have? Tor, Gaga, blah, 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 blah. It's fine. Okay, good. You went with the fire giants. Excellent. No Tor, Gata. Oh, you went with the dragons. You do this. Alright, we're gonna buy a lot up. Alright, and we need you to probably recruit some more troops. Do you have any? You do. Wonderful. Recruit all. It's not really that much, honestly. But we're also kind of brokish. And you're pretty absurdly powerful, so there's also that. Um, let's see here. We'll go to our inventory, and you have the Magister's set, because you are the Magic Caster guy. Okay? you are not the magic caster guy and you probably have some other random set because of reasons all right recruit you 
You guys don't have the combat hamsters? Are you kidding me with this? Like, they just do not like their creation, do they? They're like, nope, mm -mm, sorry buddy, ain't gonna get it. You know what, that's fine. You guys just hate on the combat hamsters, we don't mind. Alright, a bunch of stuff, what is that? Oh my gosh. Armageddon, it's there. Oh boy. Bart, buddy, I don't know what to tell you, man. We are in for it right now. It is not looking super good for us. So, that being said, why don't you teleport back to town? Yes. And then leave the town? Yes. Then when you leave the town? Yes. You get to come over here? Yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll stop with the S's. Um... Gonna head out this way with you. Oh, maybe, yes, we are. We're gonna head out this way with you, buddy. And we're gonna bring our gal along soon, but not yet. And you guys probably need to go out and do some stuff, too, because of reasons. You really wanna fight us? Why can't you just be friends with us? Why can't you just love us? Why you always gots to be fighting? Alright, we have the ore pit. We have some stuff. Uh, and then what do we actually need to do? We need to take on this guy. Oh, boy. Let's actually see how strong are they. Uh, if we combine all of our forces, we can probably take most of them out. So we have Lethos, we have Yerbeth, and we have Cinnatar. Oh boy, and who knows what else we're going to have. Also, there's floating guys up here, which is weird in many ways. So, if you guys wanted to fight a floating army or two, there's a few up here in the middle of the sky for no reason. Kudos to them for being able to fly, I guess. Um, probably can do something against you guys. Oh, come on, you just join us. Just, just say we love you, please. We are dwarves, you are elves, or... No, you're not elves. Uh, we are dwarves, you are dying, or something. Hold on, I can cancel this. What's wrong with your army here, buddy? We're, you're dwarves, we're dwarves, and we need to fight the Dark Elves. That's what I was trying to say. Didn't happen, though. You guys noticed. Alright, well, let's do it. It's going to be glorious. Or terrifyingly awful. I don't know which. It's... gosh. It's just... Uh, well, I suppose you can sit over here, because, like, why the heck not, right? Alright, let's do that. Okay, and you are the caster of the group. We know that you can do, like, absurdly, ridiculously, overwhelmingly high damaging things that hurt in very, 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 very tremendous ways. So, that being said... Yeah, no, we're not doing RB heaven, sorry. It's tempting, though. It is tempting. Log Shroud is still there. You actually have very few overall skills. Alright, how much is the fireball going to do? A uh, pretty good amount. No, I don't want to cast it. I don't want to cast it. Hmm. Do you have the ability to cast spells twice? from the rune magic skill get a second active ability that triples eh we'll see we'll see in a minute guys the hero casts spells one higher rank in the currently controlled area I don't know if you have the skills that I want you to have or not I can't remember because I sort of want to cast a fire spell and then I want to cast the fog shroud but I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to try it. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. That's bad. Alright, well, we're going to have to donk donk slap you and hope that somehow we survive this. Oh my gosh, this is going to be awful. It's going to be so bad. Oh, can't make it. 
Oh, huh. Well, I'm totally okay if you want to go after her. Especially with the combat hamsters, if that's a possibility, go for it. Uh, I guess we're gonna defend. Chuck our uh, thing. It does almost nothing to those guys. It's fine, I guess. Oh god, what are you gonna do? Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Alright, we're gonna say no to you. And we're gonna back away, because we're terrified of everything that you stand for and can do to us. And now we're gonna donk donk slap you relatively hard. And we're gonna defend, then we're going to wait. And then I'm gonna retreat like a scared little woman. Not, not really. Just, I'm gonna retreat. Alright, then we're gonna go all the way back to our original position. You're gonna burn slightly, you're gonna donk donk slap, it's gonna do next to nothing. We are now going to shield ourselves from the slapping of the donk donk. And I believe we're okay ish. And we are gonna meet you head on in battle, and you will die in theory. You guys are so adorable. They, they really are. They are pretty adorable. Okay, well... Can I just end you with... Yeah, I can just end you with that. A small amount of mana there. Not that big of a deal. How far can you move? I'm actually going to let them come to us. Say if we move here, we're probably safe. And if we take a look, if we move here, we're probably also safe. All right, you decided to walk just slightly closer, and I'm okay with that. Now we're gonna start dumping uh, stuff onto you here, and you are not going to enjoy it. I'm pretty certain of that. Alright, well, it's time to start the Donk Donk slapping coming out at you. Well, again, we're going to have minor losses. It's not going to be that massive of a deal, but still, obviously, you don't want to have to deal with stuff like this. Help it. Help the big damage, 221. Burning, it's wonderful. Sweet, sweet, nice style. Another 400 or so going down. 324, that was a really low end of our deal there. It wasn't great. Alright, prime damage. Get wrecked. And get wrecked some more, buddy. Oh, that was adorable. You you thought you could actually like step to me. That's that's cute. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you again, and you're gonna die. All right, so there we are. We were victorious. Uh, this, this has just been a very bizarre thing. I I didn't I, I did forget, but I didn't completely forget. But I wanted to check that other thing, so be aware, I'm aware that you're aware that we're all aware. Hey, we can get some kobolds! Yay! Alright, well, we're gonna go back to our actual town to do that. Because of reasons and stuff and junk, and it's fun. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is get out of there, and we're gonna come down here to this. And he has every single rune available to him. Alright, so let's take a look. The hero start. Oh, that's his firebolt adept. Uh, the hero gets the rune of fortune. Ten initiative for all friendly runes. The support warfare unit runestone also heals all friendly creatures inside the aura of any own rune. Uh, these heal effects can stack up. The hero's base damage is increased by 25 for every friendly rune aura affecting target creature. Okay, then we go down to the second tier. We get the Rune of Destruction. At the end of every combat round, the hero gains one mana for every creature standing in the aura of at least one of your runes. The active abilities of the De Rune of Destruction deals 50% more damage. The Shield from the Rune of Fortune absorbs 15 more damage. Okay. And then we have this. We get the Rune of Resilience. All runes from the Rune Magic skill get a second active ability that triples the effect of its aura ability until the end of the next, next combat round. It can only be activated once per combat, just like the other activatable skill. Whenever an enemy creature is in an aura of a friendly 
of a friendly rune is attacked in melee, additional 50% of the damage is dealt to, a again, equally distributed to all other enemy creatures and an aura of any friendly rune. Okay, so, like I said, there is nothing that allows someone to hit twice there unless this one guy has got some sort of specialty thing. Uh, when the hero's army contains creatures from different factions, each creature gets a plus 5 morale instead of a negative 10. It's weird. Um, yeah, no, there's, there's nothing. So I don't know how the dude was able to cast that stupid rune of destruction 30 or 40 times in a row, but you guys saw it there. So, another buggy situation. I mean, we got through the fight. I shouldn't really be complaining too much, but... I'm going to call bull nanigans on it because that's exactly what it was. It was some serious bull nanigans. It should not have happened and shameth upon them for allowing it to. Is this Silsai right here? Oh no, that's Agriel. Oh. I don't want to mess with him. Is this Silsai? Oh, that's Ranleth. Huh. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. It's been a crazy and chaotic uh, mission. I, again, I had to reload once because I failed. I thought I might have to reload again here. Uh, after that last battle, I was getting pretty nervous. But it turns out I didn't have to. And then, of course, I didn't save correctly, so I had to reload and autosave. I don't know, guys. It's, it's fine. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.